One of the questions I often get asked is, you know, when charting one cycle, how do we test for cervical mucus? And some women are even a little bit kind of weird about testing their own cervical mucus because it feels like, well, should I be, how should I do it? You know, do I insert my fingers in my vagina? Do I, like, how does it even happen? Well, the first thing, so let's just go through and, and let me take you from beginning to end of that process and how often you should be doing it. So first and foremost, make sure you wash your hands. So before going to the bathroom every time, wash your hands and get into the cubicle. Uh, or if you're at home, then, you know, obviously go to the bathroom. And uh, what you want to do is you want to feel the outside outer rim of your vagina. So near the entrance of the vagina, but you don't necessarily want to put your fingers in the vagina. What you do want to do is just check to see what is the texture of the mucus and throughout the month that texture will change. So after your period, what will happen is that you have a few days of nothing, no mucus, no blood, everything is just going to feel quite dry. Right, and then after a couple of days, you'll start to get this very kind of pasty, creamy type mucus. You know, when you check at the mouth of the vagina, you just kind of feel like that very pasty mucus. A few days goes past and ovulation starts to approach and that mucus starts to become a little bit more stretchy. So in the beginning, you will just be like, you'll go like this and it will break, right? Then it starts to become a little bit more stretchy and you start to notice that kind of stretch. After ovulation is even closer, and typically this happens one to two days prior to ovulation, the mucus starts to become very stretchy. It's like egg white-like in consistency. Literally, you can go like this and it will stretch, right? And again, you just need to check it at the mouth of the vagina. You don't need to put your fingers in internally. But what's really um, important for you to realize is that that change is basically what you need to focus on when you're, start, when you're starting to try to conceive. Now, the mucus can change also throughout the day. And so when you are charting your cycles your both, in your basal body uh, temperature charts, you want to make sure that you're checking your mucus every single time you go to the bathroom, just before you do a wee. So every time you go to do a wee, you just wash your hands, check the mucus, see where it's like. Because you might have three different types of mucus in one day. You know, you might wake up in the morning and you have no mucus, then you go to the bathroom and you have really stretchy, really fertile mucus, and then at the end of the night or the end of the day, you have no mucus at all. Or the reverse may also be true. You know, you might wake up, you have fertile mucus, then you have nothing, then you have a little bit more, um, and so on. So what you want to note down on your chart is the most stretchy most profuse and most fertile mucus of the day. That's what you put down even though you're checking throughout the day because you know you might miss it all together if you don't do it that way because as I said fertile mucus you will only really be able to see it one to two days in the entire month. A lot of women come to me and they say oh but I don't think that I have fertile mucus. Well it's actually not that they don't have it is that because they don't check every time they go to the toilet before they go to the toilet um, sometimes you know you might do a wee and then there's a whole lot of mucus that comes up on the toilet paper. That's going to be difficult for you to be able to track. You don't want to track it on the toilet paper. You actually want to track track on your fingers. That's why you always do it before going to the toilet and doing a wee. So I hope that helps and helps you to understand and, and how not only how to track your your um, your mucus, but also when you should be doing it. And that will really give you a better chance of timing conception effectively. So I hope that helps. Until next time, bye for now.